last March, almost exactly to the date, I was standing on that beach, dipping my feet in the ocean after walking the fisherman's trail from Porto Cobo and this year I thought I want to go back and finish it so here I am exactly where I finished off last year These pine cones look like little pineapples. It's hot, well hot. The problem is the humidity. You can see it in the air. Oof. I don't know what it is, but it's flaky, savory, tomatoey, and it's really nice. Okay, in Spain and Portugal, they know how to fill their croissants. I mean, this is heavy. Look, look at this. Wow. They do pastries different over here. So, the story goes, if I'm able to cross this river and go on the other side, I'll skip a stop so it will be one day less. If I cannot cross the river, because it's too deep, then I'll have to wait, make my way all the way back up the hill and back to Ayazur, which would be like the official stop of the day but if I can get there up that hill where there's that house then it would be perfect because it means I skip Ayazur and go straight to Arifana but the only reason that you can't do the coastal walk is because of this river and they have you go all the way inland because there are no bridges no nothing and then come back all the way onto yourself along this way which is a, I think it's a little bit of a waste of time and there's nothing really nice on the way it's just you know these green shrubby hills it doesn't look too deep but i think the tide is coming in so if i'm doing it i need to do it quick so i did manage to cross i couldn't film it but now I have to go and stay in a nice place because some crucial things got wet during the crossing and I cannot camp, let's put it that way Beer, cheese, um, because I need my five a day, pepper. <laughs> 